Here's a question that I have been receiving for quite some time, and uh, uh, it happens more than once. I cannot provide you with structural engineering information. Anybody who's watching this video, um, if you've, you've watched my channels long enough, you know I'm not an engineer. I stress this to people. I don't try to pretend to be something I am not. But I can tell you that if you are looking for a way to figure out what size materials you are going to use on your stairway and you want to create a stronger stairway, um, go to a local park. Um, go to an area where there is a public stairway and take pictures of everything. Bring a pencil, a piece of paper, and a tape measure. Write down all the lumber sizes, the footing sizes. Kind of uh, see what type of hardware they're using for their foundations. And of course, this will give you an idea too of some problems you could encounter. You know, like if you're building a, a stairway for your deck and you see that, wait a minute, these roots are going to create some problems for these footings. Um, I might want to try and do something else or I might want to remove the tree or um, something. Again, you're going to be able to look at the stairway and see if there are any, are any problems. So you might have mold issues. And you're thinking, you know what, I was going to put some plants underneath the stairs. I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, but here, here we are. We've got, this looks like a 4x14, maybe a 4x16 stair stringer. Again, with your tape measure, you're going to be able to measure this stuff. And I'm not suggesting that you need to build the stairway exactly like that. You might not need to use pressure treated lumber or even four by you know 16 stair stringers now if now the whole thought here too is not to get to where you're you know hey you go down to your local park and you see a stairway that's built out of um four by 16s everything uh, okay if that's not the stairway you want that's not the one you're going to want to be taking pictures of you're going to want to find something that's similar to the stairway that you have or that you're going to build. Um, so again, this, this stairway looks like it's about um, eight foot wide, I'm guessing, could be seven foot wide. And um, it's heavy duty. I think it's got four by 12 treads on it. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, if these aren't four bys, they're three bys. This is heavy duty, this is a heavy duty stairway. And um, Another thing I want to point out is you're not going to, you might get the lumber sizes you want to build this type of stair, but you won't be able to build it exactly the same to meet local building codes. So even though you might be able to go down and get an idea of what type of wood you're going to use or something that's going to last, you know, you come to a stairway that's um, 10 years old and you're like, nice, I got all my measurements and then you space all of your balusters, your handrail balusters apart like this um, when new building codes require them to be less than four inches apart, you know, you could be in trouble. So even though you're going to be able to get some free engineering advice with uh, this and even see what type of materials might work better or last longer or whether or not you're going to put plants around it or water um, near the bottom of the stairs, build it on the side of a hill, stuff like that. Um, you, the method of construction might not be the same. So that's something I'd want to point out here. So again, just to kind of recap everything, if you're going to uh, build an exterior stairway and you're looking for some free structural engineering advice, um, you can't go wrong with just going down to a public place these are this set of stairs right here was designed by an engineer. You can count on it. It's a public park, and at a public park, um, the city or the county, uh, I should say more than likely, isn't going to allow someone just to build a set of stairs. But even if they do, you're not hiring an, an engineer. You're not going to get a building permit. You just want a safe set of stairs. If you go down to a park as I already said, and you um, see a set of stairs built out of two by 12s and it's fallen apart and you can kind of guess it's about 20 years old, you might not want to follow the same methods. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, for those of you who have emailed me in the past uh, week wanting to know how 
wanting me to provide you with uh, free structural engineering advice for your exterior stairway, well, hopefully this helps.